Got a call from a FedEx driver who shall remain nameless. Remember that we were talking about the 7-Eleven employee. This guy at 7-Eleven had a drink and a voice of God. He didn't know he was being watched. A voice of God said, you're going to pay for that. Scam that thing. (laughs) Wow. Before you consume it. Yeah. And apparently (laughs) they're being watched at all times. So we had a FedEx driver call and say, yeah, inside a FedEx driver's truck, you're being watched. And they will tell you, slow down. Or remember, you're, you, you've got packages in the back. That was a hard break. Yeah. yeah. Can you believe that? Who ha- who can hire enough people to do that? Exactly. I mean, you have to have as many people watching as you do drivers stores or almost. Drivers. Well, you could, you know, one guy could watch 10 7 Eleven stores maybe, but uh, it's. That's not easy. A lot of people, I know. I, yeah. I, I'm, I was surprised that they had the manpower to do that, to mm-hmm. watch that going on. There's some sort. It couldn't be like some sort of algorithm or something like a computer watches you because you couldn't tell. It couldn't know that this guy was drinking a drink he hadn't paid for. No way. I think if you go to a country where there are a billion people, like in India, mm-hmm. where they have that's where a lot of your phone calls come from nowadays for marketing calls. It's probably the same way. There's plenty of people to work mm-hmm. in other countries that will do that kind of stuff. That will sit in front of a bank of TVs and just watch. Oh, maybe twenty four hours a day. Well, I hadn't mm-hmm. thought about that. You may be exactly right. Boy, the technology that is being employed here. God, yes. And then, uh, speaking of technology, we're on camera in here. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's been going on for a few months. Oh, and yeah. Megan is running the cameras, and she told Biggie, and this is exactly right, T-Pain, who we talked about uh, in last hour, known for his auto-tuning, won the masked singer in his with his real voice so he knows you know mm-hmm. so he can sing he's a good singer part of that was proving that he's a good singer right so he mm. <laughs> is that what the mask singer proves well i don't know what the competition is really you see this well, uh, it was caitlin jenner and Ch- tommy chong one year yeah tommy chong has won it uh, or was in it anyway tommy chong was one earlier and i think caitlin jenner was this past season yes yes that's right so, i mean we're not the cream de la cream you know although i think this year lachey won right yeah, somebody. I mean, re- he was in a. He was in ninety eight degrees. A real singer, married uh, to Jessica Simpson for a time. I think because of the popularity of the show, they're getting actual singers. It's probably true. Yeah, and, and I'm sure the producers say, "Look, we're getting mocked." <laughs> I don't think they care. <laughs> this is Caitlyn Jenner. Maybe right? not. I mean, they're not current A listers. No, but Lachey is. He's probably the best. And T Pain are probably the two. Well, best they're certainly known, known, and they're known singers, and they have sure. music industry cred. Did you see that? Um, Netflix has got a show, what is it called? Sexy Beasts. It's coming out in a month, and it's a dating show. And you go out on a date, and you're dressed like a dragon. Like a fox or a, or a fox cat. Or, yeah, and, and uh, so you don't see, it's, it's a real blind date. So you're you supposed don't, to just mesh personality-wise. That's right. And so, But you're, it's so weird looking because you've got somebody literally dressed as a fox in a really elaborate costume. Does this stem from all this cosplay stuff and people wearing... Costumes and stuff. Well, I Maybe? thought it was a mass singer thing. Yeah, no, that's kind of taken mass singer. They had a hit too called "Love Is Blind," mm-hmm. where you basically you didn't see the person. You just talked to them through, yes, uh, you know, like a misty glass. Yeah, and you had to agree to basically get engaged just from talking to that person without seeing them. Yeah, and once you got engaged, then you saw them for the first. Now, of course, everyone's attractive. It wasn't like I was on the other side of the glass. <laughs> Can you imagine? Uh, I think I should be. I always think I should be cast on those shows just to prove a point. Yep. I agree. And I don't even. Uh-huh. Just some hot girl burst through and I'm sitting there on a the couch. What's yeah. up, sweetie? Yeah. <laughs> you think you're going to win her over with your winning personality? <laughs> I can't. Yeah, I can, that's right. Yeah. I wouldn't be myself. Yeah, no, you have to, to I like up. to hike. <laughs> yeah, you I can't say lie. all that stuff. I mean, that's true. You can't tell the truth. How are you going to sell yourself? <laughs> Good point. Uh, Trucker D talking about being watched on camera while doing his job. Go ahead, Trucker D. Good morning, fellas. P1 from Tennessee. How y'all doing? Wonderful, sir. Thank you. All right. Okay, two quick things. I used to work in a restaurant where that same thing would happen. They would watch you. Mm -hmm. And the way that works is most of the time what that is is somebody who owns that particular store within the franchise, and they will set up cameras at their house and watch the employees that way, and they can speak to you like that. At least that's how it used to be where at the restaurant I used to work. Right. I mean, and was it a chain at, trucker D or at, independent? Yes, sir. It it was it was a famous uh it's a famous uh, sandwich uh mm-hmm. restaurant. Mm-hmm. Um and as far as driving a truck for a company nowadays for insurance purposes they have cameras that watch both of, both the driver and the outside. 
And if you hit the brakes too hard or something like that, some of them will respond with a light, but mm. I guess some of them can also respond to you. It's already programmed to tell you, mm. like, you turn too fast or you hit the brake too hard or what have you, or you're traveling too close, something like that. Does it bother you to be watched like that? And do you get called on it a lot? Well, I, I, I've been driving not very long, only eight years, mm. but it I don't really like being watched, but at the same time, it does cover me. You know, in case, you know, a driver says, hey, I ran them off the road. Well, they can pull up my camera and see that I did not do that. So it saves me. Yeah, yeah I get that. Serious trouble. Yeah, it's a protection thing it, for you. If too. you, let's say you you do run a, too many stop signs, do you get docked or fired, if theoretically? Uh, you can. Some companies will do that. Um because it's really unsafe, and, and you don't want to cause no problem. We're 80,000 pounds at 65 mile an hour. That's a horrible accident waiting to happen. So, yeah, yeah you some a company will fire you over that. Yeah. Okay. okay. Thanks, Trucker D. Keep Appreciate it between it. the ditches, as we used to say. Absolutely. Right. Thank you very much. Andrew is talking about being watched while on the job. Andrew, go ahead. Yeah, so, uh, Andrew, if you want to bro. Thank you. Um, Basically, I install a lot of this stuff for a living. Oh. So the, for, for the trucks and the stuff like that, it's geotapping just like your 360 app. Uh -huh. And it sends an email, and they know to call in and look or talk. Oh, okay. The video stuff is called video analytics. So you set up a camera, and you set up hotspots. So I, the guy with the drink mm -hmm. was probably a hotspot watching the register. And when they saw something unusual which was him taking a drink, it sends an email, and somebody logs in and verifies. Hey, huh. It's, it's big brother. Wow. Huh? This is a big deal. Yeah. And you can, I, can make, I can make a camera do anything, look for anything and respond to anything, and then trigger an alarm, a light, an email. So, now, listen to me. I change clothes here in the office, and I always wonder about it. Even in our office, I'm because I'm sometimes in my turn camera off. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm in my skivvies mm -hmm. in the office, you know, so it bothers me. You ever do it with the lights on? They slowly dim. <laughs> <laughs> you hear a saxophone playing. <laughs> Thank you, Andrew. I change before I go into the gym. We know. Uh -huh. It's difficult. I hear the door if I'm shut, here, yeah. you have to do it in the bathroom. I do it in the bathroom. I, I don't believe that. We have cameras in the hallways. Sometimes I come out of the bathroom with a belt undone Ugh. because I'm getting ready to change in the office. <laughs> you know why? Well, I've I've done my business in the bathroom, and rather than cinch my belt back up, why not just walk? Because I'm changing pants in a moment anyway, so I just walk on back to the office with my pants undone. You want to do your belt to pee, or is this a uh, sit down? Depends. Sometimes it don't matter. It's private. It's private. <laughs> Peeing like butters? Pull your shirt up to your nipples? It's <laughs> <laughs> private information. So I'll, uh, I'll walk back with my belt hanging out, and I know they can see that. Of I course. know they can see that. You know. But who's watching it? <laughs> well, who indeed? Go straight to the front desk. Who indeed? <laughs> <laughs> Never hear her complaining about anything. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't had any complaints yet. <laughs> James, you're talking about being watched. Go ahead. Oh, yes. Yeah, so, uh, I used to work for a clothing retailer. Mm hmm and uh, one of our jobs was watching the stores, and I was tasked with watching an, uh, a manager and his employee in their back office. And it, it got pretty interesting watching them uh, get together, and you had to sit there and watch it and take notes and then pass notes up to management. You mean get together like they were in a... In a uh... Yeah, like they were hugging, kissing, and touching each other. Really? I've and, been touching, squeezing. And yeah. you, you saw all this, and they didn't know they were on camera. No, they didn't, and I had to watch it. I mean, it was it wasn't bad to watch for work to get paid for it, but yeah, yeah, well, <laughs> <I> mean, <laughs> yeah. another one. No one complains. Pretty nice work job. if you can get yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> That's a pretty good job. Wow, what, what's how much did you see? Did any of them ever, you know, do the deed? Uh, um, <laughs> no, unfortunately not. <laughs> okay, do the deed. <laughs> Thank you, James. Appreciate it. you know what I'm talking. You've been about. hanging out with high school sophomores. <laughs> uh, <laughs> That's right. How would you feel about one of those things put in on your car for your car insurance? I mean, they make you do it. Mm. Isn't that what Biggie has? Yeah, but he does it voluntarily. Yeah, I mean, I have an app that follows, but it's not watching me, watching me. Yeah. No, but it records everything you do, doesn't it? Your speed and your... Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it knows my speed. I don't think I'd mind it, because I, I do feel like it would help. If I got a break on my car insurance, for instance, I think I would be okay with it. I would say okay, because I never do anything in the car that I'm ashamed of. Are you sure? 
Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Are you sure? About I think it'd be. That? I think it'd be different if I was being watched. That you, you, would feel more. Oh, that's weird. different. So yeah. if they say they put a little camera in your car, you wouldn't. I wouldn't want be that. for that. They wouldn't do that. But I'm just talking about something to measure your speed. It doesn't. Your... No, I wouldn't do that. I'd be okay with that. If you're know. a speeder. I am, but if it gave me a break on my car insurance, and I would probably it would force me to watch my speed, yeah. which is something I probably need to do anyway. This is so per- perfect. It's my Andy Griffith moment right here. Yeah, uh, yeah. You'll know the episode because okay. you, you and I, we watched Andy Griffith. Chris Dim will know it too. Yesterday, I go to the gym, okay, and I went in a little early to use the bathroom. And the coach, now the way we do it is it's a one-hour coached class, okay? So the coach comes over and says, by the way, just to let you know, somebody from Someone Port- befouled the bathroom. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Oh, no, no. Why do you come in with your belt buckle and done? <laughs> <laughs> no. She said, just to let you know, somebody from corporate's going to be in here watching the class today, judging me, just to let you know. And I said, oh, you know what I'm going to give him? Big freeze. I said, no way. Am I. I said, no way. That's an Andy Griffin. No one's going to go between you and no, me, right. my, my said, coach. That's my coach. It's an interloper. We said, have a bond. We got an interloper coming here, and we'll give him big freeze. Not going to give him the time of day. No one's going to judge you when I'm around. That's what I said to her. I was like, you're the best. Don't mm-hmm. even think about you're it. You're the best around. That's right. So I go back out, do my stretches, and then I see this interloper come in here. And as I'm doing my arm circles. <laughs> oh, what were they wearing? Uh, coach gear and a hat. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, as, as if they were to work, going yeah. to work out. Yes, as if he was going. And he came over to me. He came make a beeline to me. I was like, oh, let's see what this guy has to say. And he said, uh, I'm Coach Tommy from Chapel Hill, and I just want you to let you know I'm a huge fan of your radio show. You do a great job. And I said, oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Tommy. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> And he said, how's this coach? I said, she's all right. <laughs> I've had better. <laughs> Guys are about to start. Would you mind shutting up, please? <laughs> See, she's always Talking interrupting Coach me. Tommy. Talking to Coach Tommy here. <laughs> <laughs> he just couldn't have been more super. Yeah. <laughs> then I was like, can we get a pic? <laughs> I put, love him. You want to put it up on your Instagram? I'll have Biggie send you a shirt. Yeah. <laughs> A cheesy, I'm, cheesy, cheesy. Cheesy. So totally cheesy. Sounds like you got a new coach today. <laughs> totally cheesy. Yeah, I don't know. I they don't sat know. down with the. So with he's, he's corporate. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, he's coming in from corporate. He's like, oh, yeah. I bet he was excited on the way to. He's like, oh, this is awesome. I'm meeting him here and then I'm going to give him a big freeze. I'm going to show him what's good. <laughs> you ever, I remember that there were times, I, I seem to recall it more in. K through eight, because, you know, it's a Catholic oh, school. Yeah. But sometimes the principal, and she was a nun, old school Catholic nun. Sister Lewis was her name. Mm-hmm. And she would sometimes just sit in the classroom and just watch. And I, mm-hmm. even as a kid, I knew that had to be real challenging for the teachers. Absolutely. Because I think they do it at all the They do it at every school. Oh, yeah. They still do in. it. Yeah, they do it. Yeah. My wife's observed quite a bit. Or they have in the past. Yes. And I bet the teacher then is just like, oh, man, that's, yeah. that's no, tough. Yeah. That oh, is, here's that, my day. That's different. I wonder if there's a school out there that has a camera in every classroom. Like, I'm sure it'd be a private school. You'd have to tell. The it school. wouldn't shock me if there oh, were. You could tell your teacher. You tell say, look, there's a camera in here all the time. It's always on. Listen to this email I got. Good, great email today from a P1 who says, I heard you guys say recently that uh, there are so many high school students that have sexual relationships with teachers, you never even talk about it anymore. That's true. That's fact. We have retired the category. We used to have those come up quite a bit in dim reports and so mm-hmm. forth, you know, just constant. And finally, we were just like, that's just, it's happening all the time. You get them all in. That's right. Uh, she says, maybe this one will uh, force you to talk about it because I'm a 31-year-old woman now, happily married. But when I was 17, I tried to seduce my incredibly hot teacher by hiding in his office after school with no clothes on. <laughs> My God. I know. Lord. Which I know. Exactly. She says, I imagined he'd open the doors, be overcome with lust, and take me right there on his desk. I'm 17. I'm naked sitting in this guy's office. He came in. He looked at me. A shocked look came over his face. I was doing my best come hither pose. He told me, get dressed. He turned around, left the room, and never said another word about it. And I was humiliated and horribly embarrassed, but now I'm so glad that he did what he did. How about that? But do you think you'd, would you have a word with her after the, uh, when everything was, like the next day, would you say, listen, you can't. How many weeks of school are left? (laughs) But she didn't say. But she said, but (sighs) that's something. Well, I think he handled it pretty well. He did. Oh, I do too. I think, I mean, he's, but it's awkward. Absolutely right. I just wondered, should he have said, she said, uh, I felt so humiliated now, 
He never mentioned it. We were together two more years. She was a junior at the time. They were together junior and senior year. I would have, I would have told my superiors. That that happened? Yeah, because you don't know mm-hmm. anything could come back. I would have immediately. Yeah. But if otherwise she's a good student. Right. Right. Does I mean, it if impact you, if you go, her? Yeah. yeah, if you go tell the the principal or yeah. whoever. Good student or not, board. if there's a naked 17-year-old in my classroom, forget it. The kids do stupid stuff. But could, I think you go to her. Mm-mm. No yeah. way. And don't you well, say maybe I'm just thinking about now. If I was a teacher now yeah. and I opened a door and there's a hot naked 17-year-old, I'd be like, "Put your clothes on, meet me in the office." Mm-hmm. I'm telling everybody this <laughs> to cover Are you putting it in cover, the morning announcements? But to cover my ass. <laughs> yeah. Not because because I you we have stories all the time. Mm-hmm. You know, somebody know. gets twisted and she yeah. could have easily gotten mad about the rejection and been like, "Well, you know what?" Yeah. I'm going to tell people mm-hmm. because we'd believe the student immediately. Yeah. Wow. So I would immediately, I'd tell everybody. But, I, but mm. I think I would go to her and say, listen, what happened yesterday? You can't do that. You can't. Nah, I'd transfer out of my class. I'd be like, suspend really? her, beat you it. go yeah. that far. I do not. Yes, I'm not losing my life mm-hmm. over some 17-year-old. Over some mm. 17-year-old naked. I'd have had a word with her while she was naked. I'd say, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Sit down in that desk right there. <laughs> what are you, keto? What is that? <laughs> Wow, well, seventeen. <laughs> that is some. You've got some real definition there. But it sounds like she didn't want anything is that out Pilates? of Pilates. She just wanted sex. She that's didn't right. want a better grade. No, that's all she wanted was sex. She just tried to seduce him. She said, mm-hmm. "I bet she wanted a long sexual relationship with him." She says he was really hot. She's seventeen then. She's thirty-one now. Not long ago. Whew, was it? No, that wasn't that long ago. It's happening. That is happening. All right. <laughs> Every parent within the sound of my voice needs to hear this. <laughs> You're or, right. Or, and every teacher. Every, every teacher. Every, te- every parent. And listen, teachers, follow my advice, not these three. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, first give her a look over. <laughs> then have a word with her. All right, turn around. Yeah. Slower. <laughs> If you're a young teacher, heed my advice. <laughs> well, we do. Our, our minds do go to you yeah. know the the optimum seventeen year old when actually it could have yeah, been right. a lot different. Well, right. Who knows? Right. Don't listen to Dave. Was well, it the end of the year? <laughs> uh, well, I mean, if it's May, I can bang right. <laughs> that was kind of an odd question, Dave. Well, How many weeks <laughs> left in the yeah. school year? If they're going to march next week. <laughs> I mean, she was a junior. I know. He's got another year to go. He knew that. I didn't. 